my name is Rebecca, never Becky, and yes, you guys, your girl is back. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I am actually back from dealing with COVID and recovery time from my breast reduction surgery. Um, and if you guys don't know anything about that, go to my old videos. I posted them like I want to say maybe a month ago. So I've only been like in full recovery, like a month and some change. But I'm excited to be back. And if you guys can notice this girl's face is on fleek let's get into the video <laughs> hi guys long time no see right now i am just hydrating with my milk primer i wanted to jump on here and do a little makeup routine with you guys i am doing my brows different um and i am now not filling them in as much i am using my <laughs> probably shouldn't be doing this but i was so eager to figure out how you know the girls are like out here got the brows standing up they got them looking flared and i'm like how do you do it so what i do is i actually use my dual glue here and i get a brush like this and i just move them upwards and they stick really really fast guys so if you're thinking about doing the new, I don't know what they're called, natural big brow style, um, that's just what I'm doing to do it. And I'm, I'm gonna clean up at the top and like make it more defined. But as you guys can see, I kind of got the concealer at the bottom. I'm gonna move on to foundation, guys. And there's so much that's been going on that I haven't um, showed you guys. So what I'm actually using now is the Maybelline Superstay foundation. I am obsessed with this. Like, let me put the lid on correctly so you guys can see. I am truly, truly obsessed. And I believe I've told you guys before, I always love Maybelline. I have the matte and poreless. So these are the two that I am now addicted. So I was always buying this. I probably will never stop buying this. But she, oh my gosh, she's my favorite now. And so I'm not probably gonna grab for this for a while because I feel like it's the same, um, I don't wanna say it's the same consistency because it's clearly matte. And this one is more like full coverage and that's what I like it's not I don't have to pump too many times and let's just talk about the fact that it's a pump one here I'm loving that convenience um so I'm I'm loving that but I am in 355 if you guys wanted to know I also grabbed the elf concealer hydrator or high yeah hydrating um concealer I had the 20, 16 hour um which is basically the matte version and now i have the hydrating one which i love the hydrating uh concealer simply because i can move it around it's not drying so quickly on my face that i can't move it around once it's there um so i'm gonna go ahead and start with actually let's start on our eyes guys i don't know what i was thinking i try now I'm trying to stay consistent in how I'm applying my foundation and my um, eyeshadows. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is prime my eyes. Because before, as you guys can, you guys probably saw in the past that look, I was not into trying to stay consistent in how I was doing my makeup. I was like, whatever is comfortable for me that day, I will do that. Um, but now that I'm kind of maturing into my makeup routine, I like to now start with my eyes because of the fallout and I like to build my face after the fact. Um, I actually like how it feels like you're transforming. So that's fun for me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take a concealer brush now. Um, I don't know why I don't have any of this stuff laid out. Typically I'm pretty, you know, have everything laid out, but I'm going to go ahead and take my concealer brush. This is actually um, a flat concealer brush, um, number 30, and it's from Ulta. So that's what I'm going to be using to blend out this primer on my eye. Um, I don't want that. I don't want the creasing. Um, you can take this primer all the way down if you want, which I'm going to do because I'm going to add some shadows underneath. And then I'm going to add some in here. So wherever basically you're going 
or wherever you're desiring your um, eyeshadows to be, that's where you want to prime. So I'm going to prime underneath here because I like to put um, just a pop of color in my tear duct. And I, and I like that method. So I'm going to take this little beauty blender here and I'm going to just pat it. I don't need to do too much, but just enough that works because I don't want it to be too damp. You guys, I have gotten some really cool eyeshadow palettes. I mean, I, I probably should do a haul with you guys, but um, I'm not <laughs> right now. I'm going to okay, use... Guys, so I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty palette. This one here is so beautiful. If you guys don't own this, you need to own this palette. It is so, so pigmented. It just comes right off like butter. I love working with this one. Okay, and then the second palette I'm gonna be using is gonna be my little baby Yoda palette from ColourPop. I'm gonna be actually using these two colors on the side, this nice little brown here and this beige. We're gonna start that at the end of the eye here. We're just gonna pack in the color because I really like the way this looks. It is so nice. This is such a good brown. And I feel like sometimes your browns can look really, really ashy and it does not give you a good color payoff. It just, it's, it doesn't look cute sometimes. So we're gonna blend this brown in and I love it because it's very pigmented. I don't have to work too hard. I'm just gonna work this brown all over the eye. So right now I'm taking this color here and I'm gonna work that into my transition at the top and we're gonna just blend it out we're just gonna blend this color out so there's no harsh creases we don't want that just gonna blend that out at the top it's just a nice little base color we're not really putting color down onto this we're just blending it out make sure there's no harsh lines i'm gonna go in with this this gold color it is calling my name guys oh, i mean i don't even know if i should go with this one or this one i'm just gonna have to make an executive decision i guess um because they're both so pretty to me so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is get a more uh, i think this will work actually it's too big um your brushes literally are your make it or break it when it comes to your makeup and how everything is laid especially when it comes to your eyeshadows so please be very mindful of that but i'm going to take this color and i will always leave what colors i'm using in the little description below and i will leave the names so i'm going to go ahead and take this color here and i'm going to now pack it onto the eye and again, this brush did not do me justice as I wanted. So we're gonna go with another one because these things happen. And what we're gonna do is then, this is, um, sorry guys, I have not told you what brush this is. So I went and got ColourPop um, brushes and this one's a E25. It's totally worth buying. It is expensive. This is like $65. This is a $65 palette from Huda. Um, most of their palettes are about that much. Um, what I did do is wait till Black Friday to buy it, which was only like $40. Um, so if you guys are interested, I always say, you know, one, I will also recommend going on their actual website. Don't go to Sephora, go to their actual website and purchase the palette there. It's a lot cheaper. Um, and they'll, they're more willing to cut deals because I think people are so prone to going to like Ulta or, you know, Sephora for their palettes. Um, so they're, they're a lot cheaper if you actually go to the website. Don't just um, purchase from, you know, third party sellers. I think it's a lot cheaper that way. I'm going to write that looks so good. Like I actually like this. It actually makes me want to put this on my entire eye, which I'm kind of doing now. I'm just going to do it. It looks better. So I'm just going to do it this way. And then I'm going to throw shimmer on top of it, which I'm going to give it that gold look. Um, Sometimes your looks can just be created on the spot. Like 
I cannot tell you how many times I thought I was gonna achieve a certain look and then I don't wind up with anything that I thought I was gonna have. I'm sure that happens to you guys, right? <laughs> like you'd be like, I'm gonna create this look, that look, and none of it pans out that way. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful gold and pack it onto the top, which, oh my God loving it let me spray it and it's gonna really you guys are gonna really be able to see what i'm looking at right now um setting spray onto my glitters i always recommend that you guys you know put some setting spray water it doesn't matter just make sure it's damp before you apply it to your eye and then pack it on there i love these glitters like i'm really obsessed like I, if you thought I wasn't, I'm here to prove you wrong. Me and glitters go back, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pack on some more glitter on this eye. Cause I want you to be able to see what I'm looking at. It's, it doesn't show like it's multicolored gold, but I feel like you guys get the gist. I'm gonna go back in with my brown from Yoda palette and I am continuously blending this out. What color is this? It's a tan neutral. So we're gonna go right underneath the eye here and I'm gonna just basically play cleanup with the eye. This is like the best time for your concealer. And I am using a new method, guys, so if you have noticed, great. If you have not, that's fine. <laughs> um, but what I'm doing now is just adding concealer before my foundation. Um, and up the nose, of course, we're gonna have to go up that nose. Um, I like this method. I've been taking time away while I was in recovery um, from my breast reduction and I wanted to learn like other ways of applying my makeup that could be a little more easier for me um, and just make it look so much more professionally done and I do feel like I am doing a lot lot better than what I was doing and the method that I was using so I like doing it this way I am going to take this concealer around the mouth to make sure I have like seamless lines. I know this looks crazy, but when I tell you trust the process, trust the process. I'm gonna take my beauty blender guys and I'm going to distribute out my concealer. So when I add my foundation, cause I can always talk when I'm doing this. <laughs> I sound completely crazy, but I can add my foundation in the areas that I want it to be and it's not gonna be crazy, crazy girl uh, looking anymore. I won't feel caked on anymore as well. So that's another reason why I like to do it this way is because um, I don't like the cakey feeling. I don't care if I look cakey or people don't care about how much I have on my face, but I don't like the feeling of my makeup just like feel like I'm piling on stuff. So I don't like to add too much foundation on my forehead. Um, and the reason is because I feel like it can easily get out of control and then you're having to brush it into your hairline. I hate that, especially cause it's my actual hair in the front. Um, so I don't like to do that. What I'm going to do is take my pink beauty blender and just move it all throughout the face, evenly distribute out this foundation and then take a brush and go over any areas that I feel like needs a little work. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my bronzer. I have this new one and it's in medium. It's a contour and bronzer cream. I got this one from Huda. This is like, literally, it's, it's like a dupe for the Juvia's Place one. I can't lie, it's just as creamy. It's like, uh, let me actually show you guys, sorry. So it's like basically a dupe for this one. It's just as creamy, it moves just the same. Um, I just wanted to try a new um, formula and see if it did anything for me. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and begin to scope my face, guys. 
So I'm gonna be starting at the top and work my way down on the bridge of my nose. And we're gonna go right into this little area between the brow I like to go right underneath my brows because I feel like that is natural that the shadowing doesn't stop like here. That's not realistic. So I like to go as far up as possible and then drag it down. And then I like to shade in the tip of my nose. Um, to give me a more button nose look instead of elongated. I was doing that for a while and I no longer like that. So I'm now trying to do stuff a little different guys as you guys can possibly see here. I'm really trying over here guys. I love this S26 brush to blend out my contour because it just does such an amazing job. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that color down. And I'm gonna bring it up into the brows. And again, I'm just gonna be blending this out. And we're gonna keep blending until I barely can see a line. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my banana powder by Fenty and I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and add falsies. And then your girl will be right back. I'm going to get my setting spray, my Urban Decay setting spray. I like to use this one to kind of melt in the product. And then I like to use my um, NYX um, Dewy Finish to give me that dewy. I feel like this just kind of melts everything together, but the dewy is what I like. Gives me that not so wet, I mean not so dry looking um, I think this was water guys. I have a so many um, and with NYX's you definitely can tell the difference. So right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my highlighter and my blush and then I'm going to do my lips with you guys and then we're going to wrap this up. I'm taking this little angle brush by Morphe. It doesn't have a number or a name but I'm going to just basically pat this onto the face because if I do like move it around it tends to get out of control very fast as you guys can see gotta make sure all that excess product is off and I'm actually gonna do it to this side because I want to make sure this is evenly distributed on my face but I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to distribute it by tapping motions onto the face this hair is stuck to my face, but whatever. We're gonna get past that and we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Cheeks again. I'm going to take my in my Wet n Wild. Um, I got this one recently too. Super cheap, like $2. You guys don't sleep on Wet n Wild. I'm going to add, this is so beautiful. I'm just gonna add some right here. I'm gonna take this little brush real quick and add some right about here. So you guys can see what's happening. I'm gonna now move this highlighter throughout the face. So, so beautiful guys, like wet and wild. Who would have known? Who would have known? Um, I actually was looking at a lot of YouTubers scream about this um, and I was just like I'm not convinced and now I'm like I'm so convinced 
I probably won't be going getting any more like super expensive highlighters. Even though they are good, it's just now that I'm woke to um, the Wet n Wild and the Maybelline one, I'm just, I'm just, it's just what for, for what, for why. So this is where I'm at with it now. Wet n Wild and Maybelline, I like inexpensive. I like getting my things at affordable prices and it's good color payoff. So that to me is everything. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now, guys, I'm gonna do these new little um, lippy lip glosses that I got from MAC for Christmas. I really, really love these. I'm gonna go in with Rich with by Morphe. And now I'm gonna go in with this color here. What is it, Ginger Snap? I've heard a lot about this. I'm obsessed with it already. Ginger Snap by MAC. Super thick. It's like, come on out. I mean, is she serving you guys or? Cause this is like a whole vibe, a look. I'm in my little robe, guys, and I threw on my earrings just because I feel like I needed something. But honestly, this is like an entire look, a vibe for me. I am really beginning to love glosses. I thought I loved like matte liquid uh, lipsticks, and honestly, I'm finding myself like less and less reaching for them. They're just sitting here drying up. So, um, and it's actually very true with one of my like brown lipsticks, like it dried up on me. And I mean, I need to be using them more and I'm about to convert over to the gloss world because ginger snap on my lips, y'all. Like, do you feel that moment? Like, hold on, let me pose for you guys so you can really feel this moment. Yeah, you felt that. Okay, <laughs> now that I'm done feeling myself, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and I hope to see you guys in my next video. And you know, before the year is over, I just wanna tell everybody Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Sorry I wasn't really here filming a whole lot, you guys, but I promise your girl is trying to do better in life. I'm trying to film more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial with me. Um, and I'm sorry if I wasn't like really detailed. Um, I got a little chatty, you know, I hope you guys don't mind I was a little chatty, but you know, like I like to say, see you guys in the next one. Bye.